Taurus. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 22nd to the 31st. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So keep in mind that could be energy that you could be experiencing directly, or someone within your environment could be experiencing, or someone you're energetically attached to, okay? Taurus. Hmm. I saw some interesting stuff for you. Keep in mind, guys, like I said, it, it's energy that I'm picking up on. So it could be someone experiencing this regarding you, or you could be experiencing this regarding other people or whatever's going on in your life. I saw I saw a plate of like white ping pong balls. <laughs> that was like really strange. Um, all the same color, different sizes, but different sizes. Uh, Taurus, I feel like you're looking at your options, okay? This could be options in dating. It could also be investment options, so to speak, okay? Either way, Taurus, you're looking at your options and you're kind of in a four of cups about it. You're kind of in a four of cups about it. Um, you're looking at these options for the long-term stability. Long-term stability, the goal of the Ten of Pentacles kind of energy. That's what you're looking at these options for, but you're not really, you're not really excited. I gotta be honest, you're not really excited about any of them. I also feel like you're not that convinced. You're not that convinced. And Taurus, they're all the same color. Different sizes, but they're all the same color. And it's kind of like, what's really a difference between all those options right taurus what's really the difference here um taurus keep in mind this is just a timeline the 22nd to the 31st time is not linear whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it but keep in mind the new moon in scorpio on the 27th will be bringing in a lot of like quick changes a lot of towers a lot a lot of sudden shit a lot of stuff will be coming to light very quickly every day is going to be a little different okay um so keep in mind you don't want to still be in this when we go into the new moon and Scorpio energy, because it's just going to be, you're going to feel pressure to make a choice and you're going to make a very impulsive choice and it might not be the right one. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Um, but Taurus, then I saw a buoy. Okay. Uh, and what's the purpose of a buoy? I mean, buoy is basically like, Hey, hazard over here. Hello. Look up, look up, look up. Or, Hey, you need to go this way. You need to go this way. Go that way. Not over here. Right. That's the purpose of a buoy. It's to help you help guide you to hazards and warnings. Like lift your head up. I don't know. You keep wanting me to say that to you. Lift your head up and look up. Warning, warning, warning. Taurus, I feel like the options you're looking at, the reason you're not happy with them is because they are kind of all the same. Okay, so for example, if this is dating, you're dating the same people. <laughs> They're not that different from each other. And I feel like seeing that buoy was kind of like a little bit of a red flag, a little bit like a wake up call. Like, hey, if you want something big and grand and different, you might want to look at different stuff. <laughs> you might want to start thinking of things in a different way or taking on a new perspective or just trying something you've never tried before. Okay, um, you know what's <laughs> This was kind of funny, actually. I wasn't even going to say it, but now I understand why they were saying this to me. I was getting like, I was getting like Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, Unicorn. I was like, okay, that's weird. So maybe you're into that stuff. I don't think so because now I'm, now I'm getting it. Taurus, you want that thing that sticks out. You want the unique thing, something that no one else has, an opportunity that is truly yours, truly just kind of like, um, how do I say this? Like one of a kind one of a kind okay so if you're looking for that one of a kind person you're not gonna find them in the people you've already dated or in the same kind of people and i i kind of get the sense like carbon copies i'm not trying to no shade no shade no shade no shade no shade okay sometimes people have a type i'm just the messenger here but specifically if this is about dating taurus you might want to just try dating a type of person you've never dated before or someone who doesn't fit the carbon copy of what you're used to, okay? If, especially if it hasn't been working out, right? If this is regarding investments, same thing. Diversify your portfolio, okay, Taurus? Um, so that's what I was picking up on in the meditative session. Let's go ahead and calibrate the cards here to your energy, doing the pre-shuffle on screen, and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot reading. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Sorry, all of a sudden I realized I was uncomfortable. Okay. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, Taurus, whatever options you're looking at, I really feel like Spirit's like, hey, look up, look around, try something new. Try something different. Try something different. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, because I, I know I have other Earth signs that watch Taurus. Uh, just so you guys know that Newman and Scorpio energy is going to be really hard on earth signs 
really hard on earth signs because it be very, very quick, fast moving energy, and you're going to have to be very, very adaptable. Okay, so Taurus, of all the earth signs, you're probably going to have the hardest time. I'm just being honest with you. And then we have your full moon on the 12th, I believe, in November. Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, Taurus, I feel like you're very kind of complacent. Like, you're just kind of like, well, I, I know what I want at the end of the day. Like, I want to, it's almost like, you know the general idea of what you want. But Taurus, I gotta be honest. Just want to pick it up. Again, this can be vice versa. Um, you don't really know what that looks like. You know what I mean? And, and it, no shade. We've all been there. We've all been there. I feel like you guys are getting a little irritated with me. We've all been there, okay? Where we know we want to be happy. We know we want stability. We know we want financial security. We know we want comfort. But sometimes we don't really know what the ideal for our particular situation would look like for those things compared to someone else. 555 when I looked down at the phone. Um, so Taurus, I think that's where you're struggling because I feel like you're trying to do, for some of you, I feel like it's it's almost an energy of trying to do what everyone else has done to get that, to get their Ten of Pentacles. And it's not really making you happy because you know what? You want a unicorn. You want Bigfoot. You want Loch Ness Monster. You don't really want what everyone else has. So for some of you, this could also just be like following in family footsteps, following some programming, like, again, just like fitting the mold a little bit. Others, you need to break a pattern. You need to break a pattern of what you've already tried before. If you're trying the same stuff and it hasn't worked, it hasn't worked for a reason because it's not really what you what you would really actually want or what would really make you happy. It's time to look for the red balls or the orange balls or the yellow balls or other colored ping pong balls, okay? <laughs> Placing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Hmm. What's what, ooh? Okay, they're showing me stones. Ah, uh, that has to be amber. Ambers and ambers, ambers, amber and citrine might really benefit you during this time, which makes sense actually because that builds up your confidence and knowing, and that will help you understand what you really want. Oh my! Oh, and look, seven of cups. <laughs> Scorpionic energy, options, options. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Yeah, Taurus, if you're dating a lot, which some of you are, you're trying to figure out which cup is best for you. But if you're dating all the same people, no wonder you're bored, <laughs> right? Oh, come back, come back. Yeah, if you're dating all the same people, it doesn't matter who you choose. But at the end of the day, You've already tried people like this. You've already tried this archetype. Might be time to try a new archetype. But that's what you're looking for. You're you're trying to you're trying to siphon through your options here. I do feel heavy that it is romance related. Again, it could just be options in career or otherwise or investments, but with all cups here, especially the Knight of Cups, I definitely feel like this is about choosing an option in love. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Taurus, Sun Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, Taurus. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, also my pre-Empress card, and Lovers in Reverse, Gemini energy. I gotta be honest, Taurus, I feel like, well, you've got your options here, and you could be dating a lot, or siphoning through, or playing the field, whatever. I feel like you got someone on your mind that it didn't work out with over here. This is someone who's very independent. This is someone who does stand out amongst the crowd. This is someone who does stand out amongst options here. So, Taurus, you're looking at all these cups, but... You got a person here who's kind of grander than any cup that you have in front of you. The lovers in reverse, something about this person didn't work out, okay? This, like I said, this person's very independent and very stable. Sorry, I think I was picking up on some occupations for a second. Something about organizing. Do they work in a doctor's office? Wait, what is this? Definite office job, but I feel like medical field for some reason. That's interesting. I feel medical field medical field for some they own their own business some they own their own business i'm just seeing like a lot of different organizational stuff going on here for this person that's only for some of you of course my taurian females you're sick of love sorry i'm just picking up on that 
Taurian females that I'm picking up on, you're very sick of love. Oh my, and look at this. The hangman with the knight of pentacles. Piscean energy, knight of pentacles is Virgo energy. Could also be earth or water here. Yeah, see, so you want to build something, Taurus. You want to build something long standing. You want to build that ten of pentacles, which is why you're ready for that. But the hangman, you're complacent. You don't really like your options. You don't. You're not happy with your options. You're. I got hate to say this because I'm sure some options are watching this. Um, you're bored. You're bored of your options here. And then there's someone smack dab in the middle where it really hasn't worked out with. And you're trying to figure out what to do. But that's why you're moving so slow. Because you're not happy with anything that's sitting in front of you. Um, but like I was saying, Torian females, I was picking up on you guys. Um, specifically females, which is interesting. That almost never happens. Or feminine energies. We'll say feminine energies. But it feels like females. You're very sick of love. <laughs> You're very, very sick of disappointments. I feel like you have been focusing a lot on yourself and kind of just not turning your back on options or not turning your back on people, but just, just focusing on you. Nothing wrong with that. Having movie nights, going out with friends. Feel, I feel a lot of home time though. I do feel a lot of home time being in the home. I do feel that. But yeah, just pampering yourself. So you guys are doing your nails. That's cute. That's cool. So what else we got here? Yep, two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy. This is needing to make a decision about, about all this. Needing to make a decision about your options, what to do about it since they all bore you. And again, I'm not trying to throw shade to the options here. I'm not trying to, I'm just picking, that's just what I'm picking up on as the reader. Which is why this knight doesn't really know what to do about it. They're in hangman mode about it. All the while, a lot of these knights have someone on their mind that it hasn't worked out with already, and I feel like this person does stand out in a crowd. They are not a carbon copy. That's what, my, that's what Spirit just said. This person is not a carbon copy. Decision time. Are you gonna drop all the white ping pong balls and listen to the, and you know, look up and see the buoy? <laughs> Figure out which way to go next? Um, or are you gonna pick one of the carbon copies? It's just an archetype. Someone's got a type. Someone's dated the same person over and over and over again. And guys, we've all been there. We've all got our patterns, right? Okay, let's go ahead and get into the reading here. Uh, for those who are new to my channel, new to tarot, please understand these messages are very general. Okay, messages come through for those who need to hear them. So sometimes that will be you. I come back. Okay, sometimes that'll be you, sometimes that won't be you, and that's okay if it's not your week, it's just it was a different message for someone else, okay? We are working with energy, so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa, and don't get hung up on the gender of the cards, nothing is gender specific, we all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay, any other questions or anything or about the channel, me, tarot, look below, there's a lot of information there, and yes, my energy is very different. I've been going through a very interesting time, <laughs> a very interesting time. I've been in the underworld a lot, okay? But I'm good, guys, I promise, I'm good. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Mm, something about sushi? Why did sushi just come up? Maybe some of you guys are just craving that or maybe you're eating that right now. Some of you guys are definitely eating sushi for lunch right now. That's kind of funny that I just saw that. Um, some of you need to eat more fish. Some of you need those omega threes. Oh, for, this is I don't know why I'm picking this up. For those of you where you're worried about your hair health, yes, eating more fish should definitely be beneficial to you for that. Okay, and biotin, biotin as well. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus regarding love? October twenty second to the thirty first. And now I'm picking up Texas. Wait, why am I picking up Texas? What's going on in Texas? Um, Texas might just be very significant for some of you watching this. That's interesting. Now I just heard Albuquerque. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay. Got some Southwest people watching me. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, Taurus, it's time to be um, a little bit more out of the box when it comes to whatever it is you're trying to figure out for yourself. And I do feel like it's for more masculine energies. If it's vice versa, it's vice versa. But I feel like more masculine energies here you need to be thinking outside the box a little bit. Um, no point in doing the same thing over and over and over again if it really hasn't worked out for you. It's time to try new things. It's Yeah, it's time to break out. That's what it is. It's time to break out. Um, 
Try things you've never tried before. Even like outside of whatever it is you're trying to figure out for yourself. Just try new things. Just give it a shot and see what happens. A lot of my masculine Taurians need to be doing that. It'll change your energy, especially if you've been feeling a little stagnant. It'll change your energy. Um, yeah, yeah. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Something about catcalling. Well, who has, who, what woman, excuse me, what woman doesn't suffer through that, right? But I'm getting something about catcalling. Oh, if you're in a committed relationship, um, just try to avoid areas where that tends to happen. I mean, I know it's unavoidable sometimes, but something about like um, an altercation might occur. Strength, Leo energy here, oh my. This is definitely something about taming. Taming, discipline, and self-control. Could be done with the Leo, could have that in your chart, not necessarily. But I'm getting discipline and control. Discipline and control. I feel like someone's trying to tame their frustrations a little bit here. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, taming frustrations. My fem my feminine energies, I feel like you've been very disciplined with yourself and like workout regimens and things like that. Page of Swords, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, that's what I was sensing, sorry. I just got really nervous. Uh, someone doesn't like what they're seeing and they, they're trying really hard to control themselves. Oh, I don't like it, oh. It's like, I do feel a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of envy here. It could also be just taming like sexual energies. I do feel that too, Taurus, but someone does not like what they're seeing and they're trying really hard to control themselves. Oh my God. Trying really hard to control themselves or control what they want to say, control their mouth. I feel like this person's actually very quiet. I do like this person's very quiet. Ooh, three of cups in reverse, can't Syrian energy. Someone could be seeing someone parting a lot. I do feel a little bit of that parting too much. They they might be looking at someone being like they're parting way too much or they're drinking way too much and they don't like that. They don't like that. Whatever this person's seeing is very upsetting to them. It's very upsetting to them, okay? And it's, so there's also a sense of longing here. For some, this could be someone who wants to get closer to you or who feels like they're kind of on the outskirts when it comes to you. Let's see here. Wow, moon in reverse, Piscean energy, also can't Syrian for me as a reader. Seven of cups, scorpionic energy, and then we have a three of wands, Aries energy. So, oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, someone's about to realize that they're going to get hit with a bunch of options soon. Um, I feel like this is all from the perspective of whoever's watching. This is so weird. Ace of wands at the bottom. Yeah, whoever's watching is trying really hard to control themselves really hard to control themselves. I feel like they are longing for you, Taurus. So Taurus, we'll just say that you're the one they're longing for. If it's vice versa, it's vice versa, okay? You're being watched, essentially. Enjoy that. <laughs> uh, they're longing for you. They want to be closer to you. It doesn't have to be anybody you broke up with. It could be just be someone who wants closer, like to be closer, even if they already have some kind of relationship with you. Um, however, it's like whatever's being revealed, a lot of options are about to hit somebody. I think this person is watching you go out, Taurus, or watching you enjoy yourself, missing you, missing you, wanting to be closer, wanting to be closer, and they see that you're about to have a lot of options. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh-oh. I just, I, I don't know why I feel like um, tension building here in this situation. Oh my God, Taurus, so many cards here. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. Wow, two of cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy, and then we have eight of wands, Sag energy, and four of swords in reverse, breaking the silence. Okay, yeah, you might not be talking to this person because I definitely just got breaking the silence. Someone's trying to figure out if they should, someone's trying to figure out if they should break the silence with you because whatever it is that they're saying, it's very upsetting. Trying really hard to tame themselves. Others are trying to tame sexual frustrations and sexual desires they are longing to be closer with you there's also an energy of partying a lot or drinking a lot and whatever's being revealed a hell of a lot of options are about to hit somebody and i feel like it's the person being watched so because someone's seeing you about to go out on a lot of dates or have a lot of options available to you they're like god damn it maybe i should say something maybe i should say something wow that's a lot of cards taurus my goodness 
Any other messages for Taurus regarding this spread? Now we have Hermit Virgo energy. Interesting. Because I was feeling somebody was at home quite a bit. Is this passing energy? Mm. This is them. This is the person who's doing the watching. Could be a Virgo, not necessarily. Or it could be a Virgo Leo Cusper, because they're definitely got some Leo on the on their ass, some Leo energy that they're harnessing. Um it's like they're watching from from like from they're watching from home. That's what it is. They're watching from home. They're spending a lot of alone time, which is just kind of aggravating them more, which is not very good. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Overall energy, oh boy. Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Wow. And the five of swords. Venus in Aquarian energy with that Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Wow, with the Ten of freaking Cups. Piscean energy, King of Swords, Aquarian energy, could also be Gemini or Libra. Look at this shit. Look at this. Whoever's doing the watching definitely feels like a masculine energy is doing the watching here. And they have some clear-headed, they, they, they become clear-headed while being in this hermit mode after doing all this watching. <laughs> okay? After doing all this watching here, um, they're feeling very defeated and very oppressed, which is why they want to come in. Okay. Yeah. They're feeling very defeated by whatever it is that they're seeing and they're they're ready to break that silence. They're ready to break that oppression. Underneath the King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. They got an offer on their mind. Could even be a gift for some. Ace of Pentacles is a gift, but they want the Ten of Cups. They want the Ten of Cups to do Taurus. They see you. They see you. Okay. They see you. They want to come rushing in. Because they're sick of this they're, they're sick of whatever it is that they're seeing it's it's just it's really upsetting to them it's really difficult it's really burdensome okay so let's go ahead <laughs> and look at this with the page of swords and the strength card i'm actually want to look at the strength card because i want to see what they're trying to control about themselves here i'm gonna use right or wait for this one you got a lot of card stars it's gonna be a long reading tell me about strength what is this person trying to control what is this person holding back? Tell me about strength. They got a, yeah, I like, I, they keep giving me like ideas, ideas. Whatever it is they're seeing, Taurus, they're trying to like make up a whole picture in their head is what I'm getting. Like they're trying to put two and two together based off of what they're seeing when it comes to you, okay? Tell me about strength. Like, oh, well, if they went to this party or this gathering, then that means they're probably going to be doing this and that later. And maybe, oh, I saw that person in this picture and that picture. Maybe they're actually dating that person. You know what I mean? It's like they're trying to literally stitch a whole picture together. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength for Taurus regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength. Whoever, whoever's being watched and who's about to receive all of these options here, uh, I feel like this person's been waiting for waiting for a long time, actually, which is interesting. And I, God, what shifts are happening? Because someone could have a moon in Scorpio placement, just saying. We, and like I said, new moon in Scorpio is on the 27th, okay? Um, again, not necessarily, but I'm definitely seeing that moon Scorpio placement. Whoever's about to be hit with options, they've been single for a while, is what I'm getting. They've been single for a while, solo for a while, and my feminine energies, I, like I said, I was picking up on that, where you kind of turn your back on love, which is how it happens. The second you're like, shut the door on love and you go about your business, you get hit with a lot of options here. Um, so yeah, I just felt the need to point that out. Because three wands doesn't date. They literally stand and wait. <laughs> they do, they just do. And options about to, yeah, uh, options are about, Jesus, why can't I speak? Options are about to hit this person who's being watched. Tell me about the strength card. Tell me about the strength card for Taurus regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the strength card for Taurus regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. 
Oh yeah, they're trying real hard to not say shit. <laughs> Oh my god, I wonder how long this person's been watching. Do I have this stuff? Oh, 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 okay. Something about six? Six? Something about six. Since, so that could be since June. That could be six months, six weeks. Six. Something about six. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength for Taurus. Tell me about strength for Taurus. Oh, there we go. Talking about strength for Taurus. Oh my. Oh, geez. Strength with the Ace of Wands, overall energy. We've got the Page of Cups. Shit. With the Knight of Cups, Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the freaking sun, Leo energy. A hell of a lot of Leo energy here. Yeah, this person's trying to control their, uh, what they really want to do okay some sexual desires most definitely this person's trying to hold back on that um <laughs> sorry i'm like that it's kind of intense sacral energy i like can't put the cards away properly yeah for some they're trying really hard to contain themselves when it comes to uh wanting to act sexually but also just wanting to act on their desires to come in here because you got a lot of cups look at this page of cups with the knight of cups in the sun they want to come in and offer love Love and freaking happiness, guys. And look, remember, we have the Ten of Cups here, too. That's not just like a, hey, let's go out on a date. This is, hey, I want I want everything. <laughs> I, I want the full happiness with you. And this is a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of emotion. A lot of emotion here. It's exactly what they want to do. But they're trying so hard to, like, re restrain themselves, but they're not going to be able to for much longer. Because, like I said, it's being revealed to them that you're about to get hit with a lot of options, even though you've turned your back to, to dating or love or what have you, okay? So once they realize that, they're going to be like, oh, shit, I, 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 I think I need to break the silence. I need to break the seal. <laughs> I think I need to say something. Even if this person's in your life and they're talking to you, like I said, they could definitely be in your life very consistently. You could be talking to them very regularly. They want to be closer than how they have you right now. So whether it's complete silence or you're just talking as friends or coworkers or whatever, they want to break the seal. They want to break that silence even more. They want to be closer. <laughs> they want to be all up in your energy. Let me put it that way, okay? And they've been spending a lot of time in hermit mode to figure out how to do this if it's what they really want. I do feel like this person has been watching though even though they've been in hermit mode, I feel like they've never really dated anybody like you because they keep giving me the energy. Sorry, extra, you know, product day. <laughs> um, they keep giving me that energy that this person hasn't really dated anybody like you or been involved with anybody like you before. And for some of you, this does require reconciliation of some kind, but others, like I said, you could be talking to this person. You definitely could be talking to this person regularly. So they see you're about to get with options even though you're not really prioritizing love right now. Although, you know, it's in the back of your head, you're watching this, <laughs> right? You're watching this, so it's in the back of your head for sure. Um, but you haven't been putting out energy like that recently. And I think that's exactly why it's coming in. That and definitely the new moon in Scorpio, we bring in a lot of the energy. Cause like I said, during new moon Scorpio period, uh, until we get hit with the full moon and Taurus energy, it's gonna be like every day has a surprise. It's going to be a little intense. So they're trying to figure out, maybe I break the silence. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do it. So let's look at the Eight of Wands and see. Well, no, let's do Four of Swords in reverse because that'll tell me more about how your relationship is with this person up until now. Yeah, that's going to give me more information. So I have the Four of Swords in reverse. So I have the Four of Swords in reverse for Taurus. Yeah, they've definitely been watching you. Oh my God, definitely been watching you. Time out four of swords in reverse. Time out four of swords in reverse. And it's interesting because I'm also getting more of that slow building energy again. Um, what For those who actually have been speaking to this person regularly, um, however, whatever you define your relationship with this person as so far, it's almost like they've been wanting more and more and more and more <laughs> like every day. Just so they want, they want a little more, even if they don't actually act on it, like they want a little more and just, just, just a little more, just, just a little more. I gotta be honest. It's kind of intense. It's kind of intense. So I'm at four of swords in reverse. 
So I have a four of swords in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. I can't believe how many cups I'm looking at. I mean, I'm looking at two Knight of Cups, a Page of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. It's a lot of cups. And then, oh my God, and I forgot. And then throw on the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. For some of you, this person's definitely bringing a gift of some kind, okay? They're not coming in empty-handed. So I have about four of swords in reverse. So I have four of swords in reverse. Ooh, and there's the obsession, the devil. I was wondering if this card was gonna come out because I'm like, this is intense, a little obsessive energy. Here you go, the devil, Capricorn energy. Do we know the Capricorn? Not necessarily, but yeah, I feel like that's definitely obsession. Obsession to get out of this, like this, yeah, t yeah, obs yeah, I'm straight up obsession. I mean, it's it's nice to be wanted like this. I'm just worried that the devil's here now. I'm just a little worried. Let's see what else comes out after this. So, well, those are too many. I will take this one though. Six of Pentacles. Okay, some more of that taming. <laughs> oh, no wonder that's why. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy. More of that balancing out of that obsession, taming the beast. Taming the, the, sec the sexual beast there, okay? Hold on a second, guys. Bye. Okay. Wow. Again, more of like that gift giving energy as well. They've got the hots for you, Taurus, like in a major way, in a major way. And not just that, but they also have a lot of emotion and a lot of love for you. And they are trying hard to control themselves. <laughs> they are trying hard to control themselves. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. I'm just like, wow, um, that takes a lot of discipline for how much they're trying to control themselves. Cause like I said, for those where you're actively talking to this person, ooh, six of wands, Jupiter Leo energy. Okay, I like this. I like this energy because not only are they trying to tame the sexual beast here a little bit, um, they, they're they also, they're a little, uh, not, not cocky. That's not the right word, confident. We'll just say confident here. Sometimes the six of wands could be read as an ego card. I really just feel like they're, they feel like they're very victorious in in controlling themselves, in controlling their desires here and what they really want to do to come in maturely, to come in appropriately, to really handle the situation uh, correctly and like an adult and not like someone who like really needs to just, you know, release. <laughs> Sorry, it's like, it's actually very distracting energy. Tell me more about the four of swords in reverse. Tell me more about the four of swords in reverse. For Taurus. Tell me more about the Four of Swords in reverse for Taurus. There is also kind of a sense of distance for some of you. I'm just picking up on that. Some of you could live really far from this person. We do have the Eight of Wands, a travel card, and Three of Wands can indicate a, a distance card. I mean, you see that big ass ship coming in? Could indicate a distant, um, a long distance relationship or correspondence. Tell me about Four of Swords in reverse for Taurus. Ay, ay, ay. Hold on a second, guys. Cards are flying. Let's see here. Oh, how interesting. We have Ten of Swords. Oh, Ten of Swords, Gemini energy and strength. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Leo energy. <laughs> they don't want to try to control themselves anymore. They want to indulge. They want to indulge. They, they don't want to attack you because <laughs> obviously that's not appropriate. Um, they, they, but they, they sorry. They want to jump your bones, Taurus. And not, you know, and like I said, it's not just a sexual thing. You got a lot of love here. Hold on, let me see if I can hold all of these cups up. Ah, you got a lot of love here. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of love here. And then you have a, a very tangible offer here. Um, offer of stability for some, like I said, it is a gift. And of course, you know, don't forget the passion. Um, but they don't, they don't want to be so tame anymore. They want to have fun. Because it's getting painful. <laughs> Got a blue boss, ball, blue ball situation here for some. For some, I'm just saying. Overall energy, Ace of freaking Cups. They're in love, Doris. They're in love. Oh, interesting. We have a Queen of Swords here. Libra energy could also be air or water. I do feel like this is the feminine energy here. So Taurus, like I said, if it's vice versa, it's vice versa. But we now have a King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. We got a true pair here. These are the only King and Queen on the board so far. Cut from the same cloth as well. Um, both very intuitive too is also what I'm getting. 
intelligent. Mm. Mm. I feel like when you two talk, if you've been in separation, when you two spoke, um, there's a lot of banter. Sorry, it's very, it's actually very playful. There's a lot of banter. Like there's a lot of back and forth. Sometimes people don't like don't realize the Queen of Swords is at the end of the day a queen, right? Also has water very much in the essence of her, right? Or him, you know, because it could be a man. It's just energy. Um, is the Queen of Swords, you know, more of the mind? Sure. The Queen of Swords is Libra, though. Literally Libra. It's Venusian. <coughs> Queen of Swords is Venusian. These two really like to banter a lot. I think they even get off on that a little bit. It's very air-like. That's so air-like. Um, specifically Gemini, though. Gemini, Venus and Gemini placements are more like that, where there's a lot of, like, intelligent flirting, and they kind of get off on, like, you know, y you know, the talk, the talking. My mind went to dirty talk. It just did. Anyway, um, this person is so in love with this queen, it's ridiculous very very much in love with this queen um however this queen of swords like i said for my feminine taurians you have not been focused on love you haven't been you haven't been three of three of wands you haven't been focused on it and now that you are not focused on it now now the universe is bringing it in because that's just how law of attraction works here okay so they don't want to tame themselves anymore they want to jump your bones um but they want to be like proper about it they want to do it by the book. <laughs> they want to be proper about it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of love here. A lot of love here. So decide how you feel about that. I mean, they're bringing in the sun. They're bringing in Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pence, Ten of Cups. I'm like, does it really get any more beautiful than that? That's pretty amazing. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull some advice here for you guys. And like I said, for some, there's a sense of distance. Yeah, for some, travel's going to be involved in this, in this approach. Like, they're not just down the street. They might not even be in the same city. For some, they're definitely not in the same state. Any advice for Taurus? Any advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Okay, sorry, I just have to point this out. So I know this this card, I know it's the Ten of Swords, but for some reason, it just looks so sexy in this reading. <laughs> Ignore the blood, obviously, <laughs> but like, I don't know. Now I'm like, God, there's something really seductive about ending that, like, that control factor. It's interesting. Anyway. Anyway. Oh. 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 Sorry. I'm getting a download. I'm getting a download. My feminine energies that are watching, uh, I think you did walk away. I think a lot, I think some of you definitely walked away from this person. Definitely walked away from this person for whatever reason or another. Um, All of a sudden, I just got like a, an abrupt end, an abrupt end. And I think you did it in an energy of a Queen of Swords, which Queen of Swords usually, you know, takes that sword out and cuts shit down real quick, right? Um, you, Yeah, yeah. Some of you definitely cut it, cut it off with this person very abruptly. And I feel a lot of anger behind that. A lot of anger behind that. A lot of questioning. A lot of questioning. I think for those in that group, you feel like this person played mind games with you. And they are a king of swords. They're very capable of that if they want to do it. If they want to do it, they're very capable of that. But you're the queen of swords. <laughs> Who's going to play mind games with the queen of swords? Of course, the king of swords would, but the queen of swords doesn't fall for mind games, right? Yeah, for those where you've ended this with this person already at one point in time, or there's been like a sense of separation or like actual silence, I think that was the reason. So for those in that group, decide how you feel about that. But there is a lot of love here. A lot. Any advice for my Torians regarding this spread? I think that's also why I was picking up on that carbon copy energy before. Um, my Queen of Swords, you might be feeling like the people who are coming at you are all the same too. But I, I also feel for those where you already dealt with this king at some point in time, that might have been part of the issue as to why maybe it didn't work out. Maybe for some reason you know, they were used to a certain archetype and maybe you didn't fit that archetype and then you weren't fucking around anymore. Any advice from my Torians regarding this spread? Any advice from my Torians regarding this spread? Let's see here. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I love this combo. 
Dove Spirit, be peace. 21, breaking down to a three. So communication, peace talks. I'm hearing peace talks here. Nightingale Spirit, love is all around. 41, breaking down to a five. You guys know me, Nightingale Spirit. When this comes out for me as a reader, it's indicative of a very significant love interest being involved in this. And I'd say that definitely holds true here, considering all the love that's around, around here. But I do feel a lot of talking. A lot of talking here is going to happen. A lot, a lot. Um, I did just hear sweet nothings, the, the term sweet nothings. This person might be very seductive. Oh, uh, I don't know if it's because this, this king is all revved up. <laughs> um, they might be really good at sweet talking. They are a king of swords. They are a king of swords. They, and they're coming in as a knight of cups and a page of cups. Yeah, mm, be careful of that. Be careful of that queen of swords. Although you're a queen of swords, you're gonna be wise to that. But I do feel a lot of sweet nothings being whispered here. A lot of a lot of seductive energy. But um, but there's still love here. There's a lot of love, and don't forget that there is. There's love and there's passion. But if you feel like they're sweet sweet talking you too much, like doing too much talking, not enough, you know, walking, not enough showing you what they're really about, call them out on it. Call them out on that. Um, but I do feel a lot of sweet nothings. Something about this person's voice. Oh, some of them might be like singers. I just got like very like, there is something about this person's voice. They might be a sing They might be a singer. I'm getting like, I'm getting that like sing songy, um, almost not quite siren like, even if they are like a man, not quite siren like, but there's something about their voice that's very attractive and might just be very attractive to you. And not to get all nerdy, but of course I have to. Yeah, of course, why not? It's, you know, I am who I am. <laughs> I am who I am. So I read a lot of different studies on attraction and like listened to a lot of books on it just because it fascinates me. Because at the end of the day, we are all animals, right? And just like every other animal in the animal kingdom, we all have our little dances that we do. And one of the things when it comes to like, human on human attraction is the voice um but it's it's person to person so if you're finding someone's voice very attractive and they find your voice very attractive attractive there's something about that uh is actually like based in genetics like to have a better genetic fit like okay I'm sorry i'm not explaining this right if you are a better genetic fit for somebody and what i mean by that is um genetic variation so in the animal kingdom you have, you know, uh, natural selection and all of that. And with genetic variation, you mix up the genes enough with a bunch of different other genes, the strongest genes will be resilient and get passed down, passed down, passed down. So people who are attracted to each other are generally very genetically different. They're not usually genetically similar, which is a misconception and, you know, for many reasons, we'll not go there. Um, but in cases like that, where there's a good genetic fit for genes that are compatible with other genes from a different genetic pool, a very different genetic pool, the voice, you will find this person's voice to be very attractive and they'll find your voice to be very attractive. There's something about the voices here. You might be dealing with someone who is into music or likes to sing. If you get serenaded, I wanna know. Cause we do have the page of cups here and I do feel that energy. Someone might be getting serenaded. Uh, let's see. And getting poetry too. Ooh, Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. 31 breaking down to a four, so stability. Turkey Spirit, give with grace and gratitude. 61 breaking down to a seven. And then Beaver Spirit, lay a solid foundation with the energy of six here. Wow, okay. For those where there was some kind of kerfuffle between you and this person, this is basically saying time to forgive. Time to forgive and give it a shot at, build, at building up something in the right way here. Because time to let go, that's just letting go of the past, letting go of things that haven't worked out before, and give with grace and gratitude. That's being compassionate. Being compassionate, being tactful, taking the high road, being classy, being classy about shit, and going about building something the right way. Again, they're bringing me back to communication. There's something about communication and, and you two here that's very, very big, very prominent. I think it's a big part of your connection is the way you communicate. Because not only is it like you you enjoy the flirtiness and it kind of gets you guys off, <laughs> kind of gets you guys off a little bit, um, and there's something about your voices that also attracts the other very much so, and also soothes the other. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Soothes the other. It's like when you hear their voice, you just oh, like <laughs> everything else in the world is right. But you have to be careful on how you communicate this moving forward if you want to build with this person because things have to be built in the right way, and that starts with communication. You're sensitive to each other's communication. There you go. That's the best way to say that. 
You're very sensitive to the way you guys communicate with each other. Any other advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, beautiful. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. Energy of 33, which is a master number. Oh my God. And overall, guys, we have white raven spirit. Trust in magic. 66, another master number. We have the 33 to the 66. That's a very, very fast doubling rate. And if you notice all the white here, also a lot of white here in this dove card. Not a whole lot of white used in this deck, by the way. I think these are the only three that actually come to mind that have the color white so prominently. But there's something about this connection that can be very freeing. You already do have the sun card here, okay? Oh, by the way, careful, guys, <laughs> about pregnancy, if you don't want to be preggers, because there's a lot of sexual energy, and we do have the ace of wands. Hold on. We do have the ace of wands with the sun and the strength card. The empress is actually in this card, by the way. Empress with the ace of wands and the sun, so I'm going to be having a boy, just saying. I didn't mean to ruin the surprise if you're already pregnant. Sorry. <laughs> I just realized that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. For those who are pregnant and actually very close, um, two, like maybe two months to go, technically, you're most likely, I think you're most likely having a boy. Sorry. Anyway, I already said it. So this connection is very freeing and there's something about this connection that's also very spiritual. Trust in the magic. I do feel a little bit of, a little bit of divine intervention here. I almost even want to say destiny, but we don't have the star card out here yet. But either way, there's something about this connection that truly is magical and electric and is very freeing for the both of you. You both get pulled into each other very easily. The attraction is just off the charts, and it's not just sexual attraction. It's also a major love connection here. And there's a lot of stability to be had, and there's a lot of love to be had. And you guys are all about the mind as well. I mean, you got all the elements working with both of you here. It's really <laughs> Ah, I forgot about the second video thing. My bad, guys. So Taurus, my feminine Taurians, feminine energies, if you want this connection, it looks hella promising. For those where you have a history with this person, decide how you feel about it. But by the way that the energy feels and these cards have fallen, it looks pretty damn beautiful. Okay? Pretty damn beautiful. And it's funny because wasn't I saying something about like unicorns on like one of a kind? And we have the magic card right next to the horse. I mean, that just screams unicorn to me. But anyway, so beautiful shit. Decide if you want it because it's pretty damn beautiful. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Taurus. Namaste.